Somebody's already on. That was quick. Back around. Get out. Crap. We got some early birds. Good morning, Brian, Dale, as always. Hope all is well. Just giving the fish a treat.
Now there is eight. Some are not showing themselves. Maybe it's the trolls, the moles, hoes, whatever. Anywho, good morning. Now we got six. They come and go. Such is life. Where? I got two little games. Huh? It's ten, nice. The elbow, I had it here for over like two years. This elbow, now I got it in this elbow. It sucks. That pain. Got like cyanic nerve. So I put a rubber band there. It's like a pressure point stopping that pain. Well, there's five. What's up with all that? People coming and going. Um, let's see. What's new? Nothing new in this week. I think we got some trade-ins. Our tanks are pretty packed. I do have a shipment pending to come Thursday. Cichlids. Not a big order. Some large male like Haps, Peacocks, Intermedius, Red Empress. Stuff I kind of don't have here. Um... Those nickel sai um, from the same source. I got a couple left from that import, which most of them died, or dead, or died. So aggravating. And they were not cheap fish. And the shipping, well, of course, was $1,600 for five freaking boxes. Oh, now I have four. Some people suck. What else is new? So, um, not a big order. I have another order working on um, for like more of the small Severums, uh, long thin, bushy nose, like lemon spots, regular lemon spots, more reds. I mean, we have some, but might as well add to it. Everybody's got the reds almost just about dealers wise. Um, some Tanganyika and stuff. I think we're out of gold face compress ups. So, Ultra Lamb. I got those I put on there. I can't remember. That's not a bad order, but some more small Central Americans. I already have some, but you know, you're kind of doing the order, trying to make it worthwhile uh, to get it. Like the Nano, Nano, I call it Nano Lattice. Nano Lidiotis, Lidiotis, whatever. It's a small Central American. I got breeding over a 30 gallon breeder. Uh, they get almost like bright canary yellow with a black uh, mask and bars in them with the blue eyes. It's in the same family, Arxentris, like the uh, convicts, Red Point Hondurans, all that. But they're mild compared to um, like the old school convicts. And um, beautiful fish, and they're like rare in the wild. So we got little ones. They're not the fastest growers, but they can go with a lot of different things. Um, they're not overly nasty. They don't get too big. Four inches. Females usually smaller, half the size. But, I mean, if you have a 55 gallon, you could have a pair of those. And school tetras, barbs, or danios, or rose lines, or something. Just if they breed, then they get protective and chase everybody away. I used to have a pair that bred. Good morning, James. Used to have a pair of breed in my headboard tank, my bed, which had live plants. And um, no, I had sahikas in there, tea bars, which I have those also. That's another great fish in the same family. And uh, But my rose lines would eat the babies. Like I throw food up there, and the parents want to go and grab some food. And the rose lines knew when there are two little babies bobbing around the gravel or, you know, just getting around, whatever. The um, Good morning, Bob. The. Uh, the rose lines would pick off the baby cichlids. They'd be like a feeding frenzy. I'm smacking the tank trying to get them away, and mom comes running over and chases them away. But, you know, a couple here and there would survive, but a lot of them, the babies get picked off by the rose lines. So, even community fish are cannibalistic. So, yeah, some cool fish just adding. Um, we're always pretty stocked. And marking down, trying to get rid of some fish. So that's that's the big deal today. We're doing a pre-bag deal. 
Yeah, I was here. I've been here like 40 minutes maybe now. I got out of the house early. I was about to fall asleep back on the couch with Howie, whatever, and I was like, I gotta go. I was so tired. Um, ended up staying up late, watching a new series, uh, Avatar, which is pretty good. Um, and then the night before, Mom went in the ER, rushed to the ER. She fell. Again, just getting over like two months, three months rehab. She's got a fractured back. It was getting much better. She's getting around and she don't know why she fell. She blacked out or something and she couldn't breathe. It knocked the wind out of her. Luckily, it didn't break her neck. She wasn't having a heart attack. So, yeah. So I was there by 1230 and did get home to about 3.30 in the morning and then I had to get up and dentist appointment at 7.30. Um, yeah, actually, I tried posting it, and it wouldn't let me. Like, I was copying and trying to paste it, and I was so mad the other day. I, I wasted, I don't have a lot of time always just to sit. I, I'm ADHD, whatever. Definitely got that. So, a million things, trying to get stuff done, and I'm living on sleep. Um, I tried posting it. I don't know. I, don't, I should have had it written down. I did have it written down, but I don't know what I did with it. So, I don't know what's coming next week, Thursday. There's um, HAP type stuff and Peacocks um, that I don't have. Not a lot. I will be for the eye. Yeah, I'm curious what those are going to look like. So, I'll get three or four of those. Uh, some Intermedius males, some Red Empress males, a um, couple Peacocks. Um, the nickel sauce, nickel side is what is a main thing. I'm looking forward to getting a bunch. They're kind of pricey, but those things were awesome. The ones I imported from Indo were tiny, half dead, dead, and all died. I think there may be four survived. So I lost my ass in those because they were not cheap to begin with. And then, you know, $1,600 $1, in freight and shipping for five boxes so they it was yeah this yeah it sucks importing getting fish is a nightmare but um so yeah these are within the states and uh so those are one of the main things i'm i'm thinking about keeping i was thinking about keeping a pear or a tree or something the west african mouth booter they were just phenomenal um, some more bushy nose, long fin, lemon spots, regular spread, bushy nose. Gotta remember. Not too much small stuff. So we have quite a bit. There was a, it's not a big order. Now I have another one I'm working on that's gonna have. Oh, that's gonna have the long fin bushy nose. That's the other one, red bushy nose. Um, and small Central Americans, some Tanganyikans, those car, uh, Kayanga, red press ups, more of those. Those are a bit of popular seller. Some gold face comps, which I think we're out of. Some more Helianthus Congos. Oh no, did he kill her? Because they're aggressive. That's aggressive fish. So, I can, you know what? I'll have to see if they would, um, Get me. Say they give me a deal if I buy more. They're kind of pricey. See if I can get them as pairs. Howard, quiet. Oh, look at that freaking! I don't know. It's some. I'm not. I know James. You're down south, southern Ohio, but freaking woke up to freaking like two inches of snow. I didn't, I heard snow showers, but I thought that'd be more like the snow belt east of here and um i figured it's gonna be a light little no i had to clean my windows off this this weather sucks we kind of need it though i guess we really haven't had much of a winter um they were kind of slick of course you know one of my rants and complaints always is people can't drive worth the shit there was like a probably like the size of a ford 250, 350, 4x4. 
opposite direction up on the bank off the side of the highway over here. And another car was put over. And then another car stopped. I don't know why. It was partially in the lane, the far right lane. And uh, there's two semis. I'm coming up and they're like trying to figure it out. And I'm trying to get over because they're trying to get over. It's like, dude, people are so stupid. No common sense. They did have their hazards on, but get the car over. If that thing can move whatever a mile an hour, get it off the farthest away off the highway. You see accidents all the time, cops getting clipped and construction workers. If you see somebody over, the lights are blinking, trucks are blinking, or safety forces, whatever, get the hell over. Get away. Go. Um, and then, yeah, coming to the light on the street getting to the highway for me, this guy in a BMW, I don't know if it was a guy or a girl or whatever, a BMW, was in right in the middle. It's two lanes. Right, I got right next to him. I'm like five inches from his mirror, <laughs> rear view side mirror. And he's probably like, what the hell is this guy? Everybody's kind of like stuck. I'm like, I got right up. And he was getting on the highway too. I'm like, I'm out. I'm a defensive driver, so too many idiots out there. They're lucky I don't have God powers. I'd be zapping them. So, yeah, I want to be like the airbender, whatever, one of them. Airbender, earthbender would be cool. Fire, eh. They're the bad ones. Uh, so, anyway. Yeah, that, that one's coming Thursday. The other one will probably be the following week. I got clear tanks. People keep asking for stuff. And um, I can't, you know, it's, I got to sell, get fish out of tanks so I can buy fish. So today, some of you guys just get down. Oh, we got a bunch of people on now. Um, doing a, I haven't did in a while, a pre-bag fish deal. So fish will be like up to 75% off. Actually, there's gonna be some free fish. It's free. Just uh, first come, first serve. Um, any of the fish that are for sale in that super deals, pre-bag deals, uh, please cash only. I'm losing my ass, I'm losing money. So, um, you know, pay cash plus tax. So, I mean, dollar here, five dollars here, whatever it is, it's cheap stuff. But I'm just trying to get rid of some things, free up some tank space. You know, real estate is a premium here. So, that's why I tell vendors, like, for dry goods, I'm like, there's not enough real estate for every fish food company out there. Every air pump, every filter, every de decorate, whatever it is. I'm not stocking. It's too much bullshit. It's redundant. Some of the stuff out there is just made by the same damn Chinese company with a different label on it. Um, and a lot of stuff, typically, that anybody that's known me uh, for a while, um, I don't want to carry anything that's not good or a problem because I don't want to hear it. I don't want no returns. I don't want no issues. So if it works for us, a lot of times I'll get stuff and try it. And, um, and if we have no issues, like, um, you know, one end up being a total four with CJ and I dump, dump the brand pretty much. I wouldn't say everything is bad, but we had, um, they had some issues, um, defects, whatever. And it, it caused some headaches. And I, I, I have like a three strike rule kind of, I do that with the kids in karate too. It's like three strikes rule, you're out. So um right there's always something to ask that and like it's stated and i've posted i do not know uh all the fish i've i've looked around before i went online um some of the free ones will be some community fish uh and those glass head standers i'm losing my ass <laughs> karen <laughs> she she called it right when I was coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Neuralink, you're in my head. Yep, I, I have those marked to be bagged. So when I get off here, I gotta start bagging stuff. The guys start bagging. 
Yeah, the glass head standards. I don't know. I don't know why. That that, that that's you know, fifteen dollars a piece. There's gonna be three per bag. So forty five dollars in fish for free. I don't know what else to do. I, I whatever. <laughs> so yeah, so an order which is more cichlids on Thursday. Um, that's mostly Malawian and those nickel size, which I'm looking forward to. And some bushy nose, red bushy nose. I'm gonna have a lot of red bushy nose because I'm getting bushy nose from the other one, other order the following week. So all the vendors now have red bushy nose. I, I think they've um, they need to start coming down on price though. Um, that was like the hot one, you know. Now the white. If you have like an all white one, now they're trying to get more money for whites. It's it's the nature of the beast in this business industry. Whatever's a new color or it has a new spot on the fin or whatever, it it smiles at you and now it's worth ten thousand dollars. Woo! Stupid. That's capitalism. So oh well. Make it while you can get it, I guess. Um and then live plants, I'll probably do, we're still pretty good. We'll go look around here. And uh, that'll be the following week. And that might be it for a while. Less business is booming. We're not booming. And I've uh, heard some other others out there that are also, we're, we're our industry's slowed down. Um, so I just answered some kind of question about that. I'm like, freaking inflation, gas prices, food prices. This is ridiculous. So it's hurting all of us in some form or fashion, unfortunately. So, hey, let's go take a look. Tanks are pretty good. Guys have been, oh, what, wrong one. It's stupid. Uh, they don't make it. People with college degrees in technology are not always this. Ah! Don't freak out. All right. Oh, the cute little multi pump tires. Look at all the frontosis. Look at the um, the Schalt Dent and I skimming the uh, frontosa back there. Yeah. I thought I turned on a light. Oh, there's one of the Zyres growing up. Oh, there's big red. Oh, I do have more lupi on order. Uh, they probably be smaller than what I had. Um, I'm gonna make it kind of goofy here. I'm gonna put, plug the light in for the big tank. Sorry. So, all right, a little bit better. All right, let's go take a gander. Uh, yep, you still see some plants get a little thin. Yep, glass hat standards are gonna be for free. It's stupid. Um, more job favorite look, black goose are doing great I fed a little bit because um, oh look at that pleco back there that's the uh, the cross king tiger and queen airbrush he is phenomenal isn't he beautiful guys that thing gorgeous he's active there's an I think there's another one in the pipe there thing so Got these turned out pretty good. Koi angels, there's black, silver veil. I like that silver veil. Craze. We gotta get rid of those. I think I accidentally ordered those red mangrove. They're actually cool. I never tried growing them. I know some people try growing them in like a terrestrial, amphibious uh, like thing. So, yep, yeah, got fish. Um, I might have to take those to the other building. These are rare. They're awesome when they breed. Half black and half white. I mean, Bartoni. Rare stuff. I, it's, it's it's amazing some of this stuff. Um, I was talking about the Sahikas with teeth bars. Great little Central American cichlids. If you want to do something different, that's a, usually good parents or egg laters. They'll spawn in like a clay pot or you know, a little cave or on top of a, a rock. Same in the Nanual. Uh, Luteus, you know, he's called Nanolatus. They're small. I'm already more. It's one of my favorite 
Central American cichlids. We got someone brought in these little baby polar parrots or polar convict. They're cute. They're so tiny though. Very tiny. Um, of course we got, uh, oh, the red tiger mounted gwents. They're like, some of those are over two and a half inches. They're double their size in the tank. So, in reality, we should be getting more money for some of the fish that we've had to feed and grow in our tanks here. More guys, I need to take some of these. I got one big one, which I think it's a female. I got like three, four tanks now of red guard more eyes. I don't know. I, I'm kind of addicted to more eyes again. And um, I never successfully bred them with a lot of fry. It's hard to tell they even have fry. I think they have small, small eggs. Um, but it's such a great fish. Oh, look at that. Christy eye with the weight. I put a wafer in there. He's got the whole dang on thing in his mouth. See how big that mouth is? When I used to breed these, I would have little like inch, inch and a half um, Christy eyes eating other cichlids like in the tank. Like if I had yellow labs in there, it would be like a half fish hanging out their mouth. Oh, these are nice. The Galea reefs. I need some females. I have the wild males. I have some F1s. But that's a good looking fish. So these are new. These are F1s. So they came from wild. Females just stay kind of a, a plain. See the Nagara. There's some regular plecos. But look at these guys coloring up. It's a good looking fish. Pretty Mabuna. A little stirred up because I threw some wafers in there. Some Z Rocks. Those Abina Ricas are nice. We sold some of them. They're going to fight all the wafers in the rock. Slow size. Mulattoes. I still want to take some of those. I don't know why I'm going to take anything. I kind of don't want anything anymore. I'm kind of tired. I'm not kind of. I am tired. Just, uh, it's too much. And then the, you know, cost to maintain my own fish is, uh, a challenge. Um, these guys get nice blue. And it's neat when they're in transition. The living stone eyes. Males like coloring. OBs. A lot of blue. Um, then the little, cute little living stone eyes. They're a predator, so you gotta be careful. Someone took the Strigatus breeders. Um, some little daffodils, a little red, but you know, someone bought all those nice, really nice loop by it. It was Matt. I'm gonna get some more Congo sunflowers. There's only like one, five left. That's a nice fish. They're not a big seller. But it's actually a really nice fish. When they mature, they don't get the long fins like a daffodil, like the Bouchardi type, the these pulcher type. They're stockier, but they have a yellowish background with red spots in them and blue highlights. I got, I think, one or two big ones left over there. Um, red fronts and some more cats. Some Congo black calvis. Love the gold low slash, so... Tanganyikans, we probably got more than anybody. We got more Africans than anybody. I We've been hearing uh, people come in and say, um, oh, Kwanga, Kungunga. We still have some. We, somebody bought like 20 of them. That's, I had to order more, but I'm going to have more coming. Look at the color in that fish. It's a good looking fish. Um, multis, Fertosas, Burundis. Some Ornipinus, it's a great shell dweller that's not popular. Zaire Capampas. Oh, these guys, if I could pre-bag these deals, it'd be a nightmare though. These Trimax, I wish, need, need, need to go. I need to, well right now the weather sucks. The larger Mori eyes, that's definitely a male with a bump on his head. Um, male and female look good in that fish, so that's one thing that's nice. Lots of young peacocks, of course. Oh, these are nice. The Bino Sunshines and these uh, Zurus or Avadis or the Lux Blue 2. It's a good looking fish. Hardy, not usually overly aggressive. Out of Jake's. Sunshines. I've been getting, I'm always getting inquiries about shipping. So I might start actually. Uh, good morning, John. 
Uh, Brian, I'd love to see that fire yield to go, go to a good home. Good morning, Terry. Karen, that's, that's it. Oh, this guy I brought in the other day, uh, beating the crap out of that big red tail shark. We're gonna have to get it out of there. He was awesome. And they were together. Go figure. In an 84 gallon tank. I unfortunately had to take down the clients. Gold sex bossias, awesome. You don't see them. They're double the size than when I got them in. There's another one you don't see. Romotus, Congo, Blue Spot, Gobies, the Technicans. I put a wafer in there. Kagoma, seven bars. There's a big sunflower. And there's a Morii. It used to be Lamp Morii. Now it's Vibrochromus Morii. Um, Burundi's. There's some baby. We got babies. We got there is nickel size. Four left. There's a little male. That might be a couple little females. Two males and females. Two pairs. I'm actually like to. I'm gonna probably keep a female or keep a pair because these were imported and keep um, the ones I am bringing in next week. So I have different bloodlines. So it'd be a solid breeding copy. I thought about putting those in a 240 if I did it like a planted West African tank with Congo tetras and all that. But I had that stupid Marine Land 125 leak. So the Champachromus trouts and the Black Widow fronts are in there. Um, one rainbow shark left. That's another thing. Um, if you're new, if you're not even new, these guys need a home. God, I can't believe they're still here. They're so good. They're aggressive a bit with each other, but they're fine. Uh, the avocado uh, puffers. I just threw a snail in there. They eat the snails, the trumpet snails. And um, they eat dry foods. They leave the bushy nose pleck alone. They need a home. Look at all the snails and the orange. Dwarf crabs are so cool. Um, Rosie bars, there's some tetras. These guys are really rare. Our side, they get really cool. Uh, tiger bars. Rainbow shiners, I'm surprised no one's jumped on those. You don't hardly see those available. They get really colorful as a mature, especially in breeding dress. Um, that's what we have left of Severums. All of a sudden, Severums been a hot seller oh i'm gonna get some more uh bino oscars there's not many left these are very good sellers and so damn cute uh and they're tank bred so then communities mostly all male cactoides the rams loaches gold dust mollies uh calico platies cardinal tetras Actually, I'm gonna order some more Cardinals, I think. Get a little low. These are solid. And we still got Plecos around. I think there's a couple. Oh, I have Plecos I'm ordering. Some Blue Phantoms, some more large vampires, uh, maybe Royals. So that's another thing. That will be not next week, the following week. I'll have to see. And actually, uh, Columbia, uh, is as banning putting a stop to exports for two months so April and May there will be no more fish coming out of Columbia um, so a lot of stuff come from Columbia all these phantom plecos vampires um, some like green neons uh, wild angels there's a lot of things that come through Columbia that will not be coming There'll be two months, no fish. They, um, it makes sense if that's the idea. Oh, I'm gonna get some more pygmy quarries and more out of slinkus. We have some, but out of slinkus cats are popular. There's not many left, so I got like a hundred. I'm ordering of those. These neon coolie loaches are wild. Those snails, pepper quarries, pepper tetras, green neons. Um, I'm not doing any imports right now, um, not yet. 
I've had some, uh, you know, kind of, it's almost not worth it anymore. It's, it's, it's so risky getting, uh, importing fish. It's just, uh, the losses I just can't, I can't handle. Um, so, uh, I did a deal, three for a hundred on these two and a half, three inch, uh, discus. They're all come from the same, like, pair. Um, bred semi-local, I guess. Not bad. They're doing well. I don't have even a heater, but it's warm up here. So, they're doing well. So those are a deal. And of course there's peacocks. I have that big champ, the big boy. Still have those, buy one, get one free on those pimp cats. Big, big, beautiful Z-Rocks. Look at the blaze on those. And then of course in here, the Trophius Maz was looking good. Oh, look at fighting over the wafer. Um, five left of the little discus. Somebody buy all five, I'll give you a better deal. Buy those last ones. Actually, I can move those other discus into here then maybe and then free up that tank. So we're always jockeying for space. Look at the deals on the title filters. Cheap, cheap, 20% off odd clears. There's a discount 20% off on the waste canister filters as of now. It was 10% off, I'm gonna do 20% off today. There's not many left. Uh, there's 20% off on the flex at spec tanks. The 32 is tank, stand, and a free heater, all for 500 bucks. This deal is a bunch of freebies. You got over $100 worth of free stuff. Um, I might even sweeten it up. Do I even have... Yep, you get substrate, you get an air pump, you get the airline. Um, I put a test kit, um, air pump, net, stone, a lot of stuff in there, heater. Lots of freebies with that. I might sweeten that up. I like to get out of here. This is stirred up now. I threw the wafers in there. The red tigers. I'm going to have small red tigers. It's not, it says small, so I might not get that many. But the blue uh, ones and then those, uh, um, the weird name one, some kind of rainbow, uh, several, blue several, the red gold several. So, wood. I didn't turn on the overhead light. Got that 120 set up, which is possibly sold. Um, I hope. Or the 55. They're on the fence, depending on the space. Go VI. She's a bitch. I think the light was left on all the time. That's tank wet. It's so dirty. She's brutal. Oh, used 40 gallon breeder. It was used for a reptile, obviously. Uh, with a. It's like a new screen top, 75 bucks, and I have a 30 breeder for $60. You can buy both for 120 I have a 20 long that's been used for a reptile at the other building. Then I have the new, this big one, it's 55 by 22 by 24. Um, it's cost. It's uh, it's heavy. That's It's a nice setup. I have a picture of one set up. My stepson and his girlfriend have a bearded dragon in it. So I like to move some of this. Tank setups, clear out some space, spring cleaning. So there's a lot of deals. There's 30% uh, off on the Fluval UVC uh, inline clarifiers, 20% off on the Fluval heaters. There's 30% off on the Marina plants. Um, what else? So we got some deals going on. Um, Deep Balloon line is 20% off. So um yep we got 19 people on well, good morning everybody so yep uh some people just getting on if you're local uh it's been a while but i'm maybe doing a, a pre-bag sale some fish there's gonna be some free fish oh there's the blue panax there's three of them that's a cool pleco so Right, Howie? What are you eating? What do you got now? What are you doing? 
You got anything in there? Eh. Junkyard dog, man. Crazy. So, the, the 375 keeps getting wrecked thanks to him. The fire eel, that big fire eel is just a, a big muscle. It's like a python. And he gets in a tree and pushes the rock, pushes the big rocks. It's amazing how strong that thing is. Um, so, pre bag sale. I'll probably have it on this cushion. Uh, I'll have a styrofoam box, a sign. It's cash deals only. Uh, it's first come, first sub. There's going to be some free fish in there. So 75% off on a lot of stuff. So cheap. Um, I just need to free up tank space so we can get some, uh, free up some real estate. Um, well, let me see this. I got to get off here. Um, free up some tank space, real estate. So uh, we have room for new fish coming. So we have a small, medium order coming Thursday. Cichlids mostly. Um, geos. Um, that's been a tough one. Um, I might have, I have pending. That would be not next week, the following week. Uh, Redhead Tapa Joes. There's a couple of those Rio, uh, Olimar, whatever. There's like two left. I think they're females though. Um, so hopefully some young redhead tapajos. I tried getting them in on some imports, never show up, like two three times. I don't used to have used to I used to have breeding pair of uh, redhead tapajos. Used to have a lot of tapajos. I used to have a friend that bred them, so I was well supplied on. That's probably the one of the best, if not the best, geophagus is the redhead tapajos. They're not overly aggressive. They don't get huge, and they get absolutely gorgeous beautiful um i did try ordering japaris you don't see those hardly anymore that's one of the old school geos didn't show up um i order shit like i tried ordering wide miller eye i did get them in that one time and they sold out and within days they were gone i want to even keep some and i didn't even keep any that's a beautiful um geophagus like altifons type with the red in them um so yeah, I'll work on that. I like Geos myself, but the Red Hat Tap Joes are probably the most popular and great for most people's tanks. They will eat something that can fit in their mouth, so, you know, like Neons, but they can go with like Large Angels, they go with the Severums, Chocolate Cichlids, Roseline Sharks, you know, even like Grammys or whatever, they're semi-community. Um, so that's a great, great all-around Geo. So I uh, supposed to get, young ones of those so that's the following week so yeah there's some uh some stuff i'm gonna have to write everything down post it here usually i put the stuff like expected so the guys kind of know this is the old list last time um so we have an idea and start planning moving stuff around try to open up tanks get prepared and try to get rid of some stuff so all right, we're open uh, 11 to 5 today, Monday, Thursday, Fridays, 1 to 6, Wednesdays and Saturdays, 11 to 5, unless something else goes sideways, and then I will always advise if there's a change of hours or something happens that's beyond my control. Um, so, all right, y'all, thanks for hanging out. We had a few people on up early this morning. Um, all good. We're well stocked. Lots of deals going on. Some free fish today, free bag deals, which I'm gonna have to start working on, getting prepped for. So, all right, everybody, take care. If we don't see you, have a good weekend. Enjoy this fine weather. We got like two inches of snow this morning. Yay, <laughs> spring. Well, that's Ohio, Northern Ohio anyway. And um, that's it. I'm actually trying to, well, I need some nice weather. I would like to do either like a sidewalk sale here or I'm gonna do, a, or both, a garage sale at the old building, the other building, a mile away. I have a lot of stuff I need to get rid of. I mean, there's like fluorescent bulbs, T5s and stuff. Um, I got some big wet dry filters I need out of my way. I've been trying to sell for like a hundred bucks. The pumps are like $300 a piece. They went on the 500 gallon tanks, uh, massive wet dries, some old stuff parts, filter parts. I don't know. I need to clean out. I need to get rid of shit. It's just too much over 47 years of 
being in this crazy hobby business, you accumulate a lot of stuff. I'm not a hoarder, I'm a kind of a collector. Really? Yeah, I like the, the fluorescent bulbs. That's what we had, the fluorescent fixtures at the, before we moved over here and did LEDs. Those bulbs lasted years and years and years. The T10s, T8s, whatever, 36 inch. I still have probably some actual light fixtures. I might have some bulbs. I'll have to see. I actually have a list today. Ab says all the 18 inch. Yo, I had them cheap, five, 10 bucks. Yo, they're normally $16 and $30 a bulb. I had for five and $10 a piece. I'm losing money on them. I'm just trying to, nobody's hardly buying the fluorescent. Watch, you get rid of them all and everybody's like, hey, you got any fluorescent bulbs? <laughs> no, they don't make them really anymore. They make some reptile ones still, but aquarium, I don't think they even have, or they're probably more expensive than they're worth now. I don't, I don't know. So, times change. But yeah, I'll look, Karen. You know, I'll. So I have to go over there and do some work, and then come back at opening. So, I'll see what I have here and what I can bring over if you stop in. So, all right, y'all take care. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, appreciate you. Spread the good word. Um, come in and buy something. Something. Uh, that's it, I guess. All right, I'm out of here. Goodbye.